welcome to our youtube channel in this video we will discuss about the breast problem so from this video onwards i expect to do a video series on mcq points regarding breast disorders which is commonly asked in your surgery mcq paper so as a comprehensive lesson we will study about the breast disorders all at once so starting from this video we can go through the salient points which will be asked in your theory papers regarding the breast disorders so first of all we should need to know what are the common breast problems so this is just uh, uh, common knowledge so the breast problems are the lumpiness of the breast there can be a single lump the patient may feel breast pain there can be breast tenderness and sometimes the nipple discharges can be there nipple inversion can be there or else there can be skin changes of the breast so these are the common breast problems so among them we should have idea about all of them so let's go through one by one so here i thought of focusing first on breast lump so in future videos we will discuss about other breast disorders as well so this is an introduction about the breast lump so we will discuss about the differential diagnosis of breast lump uh, the clinical evaluation imaging and tissue diagnosis of a breast lump so called the triple assessment and later we will discuss about each disorders which relates to the breast lump separately so what are the differential diagnosis of breast lump so you can divide this into two categories that is benign breast lump and malignant breast lump so as you all know the malignant breast lumps are the breast cancers so what are the benign breast lumps benign breast lesions are the most common types of breast lump so if an mcq asks whether benign or malignant breast lumps are common the benign one is commoner so what are the examples fibroadenoma cysts fibrocystic change galactosil fat necrosis breast abscess and etc so like that you can give examples for breast lumps we will discuss about each of these different types of breast lumps later and there's another classification for benign breast lesions so uh, this classification is better to know to answer the mcq questions so you can divide benign breast lesions into three categories that is non proliferative lesions proliferative without atypia and proliferative with atypia so the importance of knowing this is you can categorize the risk of cancer depending on this category so the non proliferative proliferative lesions has no risk of cancer proliferative breast lumps without atp has a small risk of cancer and proliferative lesions with atp has high risk of breast cancer so let's look at some examples the non proliferative benign breast lesions are the breast cysts galactosils papillary apocrine change so if anyone asks whether these lesions has a risk of breast cancer so they don't have any risk of breast cancer the proliferative without atypia the examples are ductal hyperplasia intraductal papilloma and fibroadenoma so these lesion has a small risk of cancer and the other category proliferative with atypia 
the examples are atypical ductal hyperplasia atypical lobular hyperplasia and lobular carcinoma in situ so these lesions although they are benign has high risk of breast cancer so if someone asks atypical ductal hyperplasia has high risk of breast cancer then yes it is true so like that this knowledge is essential for you to answer some multiple choice questions so those are the examples so differential diagnosis for breast lump so you should know about what are the benign breast lesions and what are the malignant breast lesions the assessment of breast lump is done through the triple assessment so later we can deeply study about this triple assessment but i will just tell some uh, just tell you what is triple assessment so it includes first clinical evaluation second imaging and third tissue diagnosis so clinical evaluation includes history and examination the imaging we do with ultrasound scan and also with mammography and the tissue diagnosis we can obtain from uh, co biopsy or true cut biopsy or else excision biopsy or incision biopsy fnac also has a place uh, for diagnosis of breast lumps so all these four tissue diagnostic studies we can do so this is called the triple assessment the final diagnosis of a breast lump is done after the triple assessment so this is a summary of what you should know about breast lump so we will further look at each of these breast diseases in future videos